Montefiore Health System is a large, uh, complex medical system in the Bronx, and we take responsibility for about 500 or 600,000 lives in this area. So in many ways, we are like large academic medical centers throughout the country. We deliver care that is not just primary care, but it goes through the most quaternary care imaginable. We do heart transplants, liver transplants, all of that kind of work. One of the projects that we have been doing um, is using the hospital clinical data of patients to help us identify patients who are at high risk of developing respiratory failure or of dying of a sudden event in the hospital. This kind of a predictive analytics harnesses the data that are already being collected by um, the hospital, but what we're doing is we're using this data in a way with technology to identify patients who are at higher risk of having an event in the hospital so that we can respond to them earlier. Semantic Data Lake is essentially a big data architecture which allows us to collect varieties of information and efficiently put them together. The data lake aspect, which is that big data architecture that allows us to more efficiently manage data in large volumes and in scale, and it has semantic aspect, is about making information more meaningful using computational algorithms. It borders with artificial intelligence. At Montefiore, we are always looking for technologies that can bring many aspects of building big data applications together in one unified architecture. For us, it means less time to spend on technicalities of implementing these aspects, more time spent on building solutions and applying technology to solving problems. With big data comes big responsibilities. The medical system is a complex system, and people come to us at a point in time when they're quite vulnerable. We are using information for the most critically ill patients within the institution to try and identify those patients who are at risk of developing respiratory failure enough in advance of that development that we can change the trajectory of what's happening to them. If that's not saving lives, I'm not sure what is.